Hello, welcome to our discussion of the state of SOLIDWORKS today. Talking about the choices we have and the capabilities we're getting very soon for everyone in the SOLIDWORKS universe. Let's start off by talking about 3D Experience SOLIDWORKS and SOLIDWORKS Desktop. I have a little quiz for you. I'm gonna show you a screenshot, one of which is from SOLIDWORKS Desktop, one of which is from 3D Experience SOLIDWORKS. See if you can tell the difference between them. So here's the first one. And here's the second one. Show the first one again. And the second one again. Do you see the difference? Let's try it again. First one. Second one. Okay, I'll point out. It's really just in the upper right corner. We just have a few different menu settings for the user in between SOLIDWORKS Desktop and 3D Experience SOLIDWORKS. That's it. And that's because 3D Experience SOLIDWORKS is SOLIDWORKS Desktop. It just has some modifications as to how it's installed, licensed in, stores data by default. So let's take a look a little bit closer at these differences and similarities. Both 3D Experience SOLIDWORKS and SOLIDWORKS Desktop are installed on a Windows computer. They have the exact same system requirements and they both run on the desktop, so to speak. Don't let the names fool you. This is the same SOLIDWORKS that you know and love, whether it's called 3D Experience SOLIDWORKS or SOLIDWORKS Desktop. Now, these both also can connect to cloud-based services for share and markup and data management. 3D Experience SOLIDWORKS has this built in. SOLIDWORKS Desktop needs an add-in to make that happen. But the cool thing is, starting on July 1st, 2023, all new SOLIDWORKS Desktop suites come with this add-in. And this is being called SOLIDWORKS Cloud Services. Now let's look at some functional differences between 3D Experience SOLIDWORKS and SOLIDWORKS Desktop. The first thing that's different is the installation source. Traditional SOLIDWORKS Desktop, you go to the website, you download like several gigabytes of stuff, put it somewhere on your system, then you go ahead and fire up the installation manager, answer a whole bunch of questions and install it. With 3D Experience SOLIDWORKS, all you do is go to your 3D Experience SOLIDWORKS platform in your web browser, and that first time you're going to run SOLIDWORKS, it's gonna say, oh, it's not installed, do you wanna install it? You say yes, and that's it. Then you wait a little bit, but you're not answering questions, you're not looking for serial numbers or anything like that. So it's a lot easier. The licensing mechanism in 3D Experience Desktop is, is the same we've always used. So whether it's um, activation based on a machine or whether you're using SNL type stuff, that's still there, it's always been there, it's gonna continue to be there. With 3D Experience SOLIDWORKS, it's different. It's named user and it's term. So that means that if I am Megan Manager and I wanna give Don Designer access to 3D Experience SOLIDWORKS, all I have to do is in the platform, give him that license. And it's gonna be for him and specifically him only. Um, and it's gonna be for as long as I let him have it. If Don Designer leaves the company, all I do is turn off the license and I don't have to worry about anything else. The upgrade cadence is different as well. With SOLIDWORKS Desktop, it's up to you to download all the stuff and install it and go through all that and you can do it right away you can do it you know wait a year or some people you know get a little behind and you know they might be waiting a couple of years with 3d experience solidworks updates and upgrades are automatic they happen um, without you having to do anything and again it's automatic and it's going to happen so you're always on the latest version of the software now in terms of how we work with additional applications um, on the 3D Experience platform, we have a lot of applications from Dassault for you know CAM and simulation and stuff like that. Um, we don't work with the sort of traditional desktop apps like um, inspection or DriveWorks or things like that at the moment. So that is one functional difference you're gonna wanna know about. If you're using those kind of applications, you're gonna wanna stay with SOLIDWORKS Desktop and uh, go with that. But if you're not using those things, 3D Experience SOLIDWORKS might make sense to you. Now you may have heard about something called the SOLIDWORKS Cloud Offer. 
Now, what is that? Well, that's a next generation browser based set of design tools. Okay. This stuff runs in a browser. There's nothing locally installed. Um, it is a next generation tool set. So it is not feature editable with SOLIDWORKS. You can make a part in um, this tool set and add it to your SOLIDWORKS assembly. But if you want to edit the parametric features of that part, you'd have to do it in these tools and not in SOLIDWORKS. Okay. Um, and this is generally speaking, early phase functionality. Yes, there's structural design tools. Yes, there's sheet metal design tools. Yes, there's some documentation drawing type stuff, but it is not to the level that SOLIDWORKS, you know, has developed because SOLIDWORKS has been out a lot longer. I would say the only exception to that, of course, would be the freeform design because the freeform design available to us and even for SOLIDWORKS users in that particular uh, 3D sculptor role is uh, unlike anything we've ever had in SOLIDWORKS based on subdimensional modeling. So let's do a review. What is 3D Experience SOLIDWORKS? 3D Experience SOLIDWORKS is a SOLIDWORKS desktop, essentially, with some modifications as to how it's installed, licensed, and how it stores data. What is SOLIDWORKS desktop? Well, that's the same SOLIDWORKS and traditional stuff that we've been using since, uh, for some of us, since back in 1995. What is this SOLIDWORKS cloud services we're hearing about? This is what adds cloud-based share markup and data management capabilities to SOLIDWORKS traditional desktop. And the thing that's changing is that it's gonna be included in every new seat of SOLIDWORKS sold going forward from July 1st, 2023. And then lastly, just to be complete here, what is the SOLIDWORKS cloud offer? Well, the SOLIDWORKS Cloud Offer is a suite of next generation browser-based design tools. I'm going to specifically point out here again that it is not SOLIDWORKS in a browser. So again, we talked about these three different design tools that have the word SOLIDWORKS in them. If you're a SOLIDWORKS user, you work with the 7 million people using SOLIDWORKS natively around the world, and you were going to looking at some new software for a new company, perhaps, or a new division, or just adding people, what choices are you going to want to make? Well, you want to do native SOLIDWORKS files, which is, in this case, that's going to be 3D Experience SOLIDWORKS and SOLIDWORKS Desktop. Again, 3D Experience SOLIDWORKS is SOLIDWORKS Desktop with some kind of changes under the hood, okay? Um, but it is not the SOLIDWORKS Cloud Offer. SOLIDWORKS Cloud Offer, those tools, are their own file format. They are not specifically uh, something that you're going to work with native SOLIDWORKS users with. So one thing that sometimes people are asking me is why is this all happening? Why are we doing this? Why don't we just keep SOLIDWORKS desktop and continue on? Well, there's a number of enhancements and capabilities that are available just naturally by using the 3D Experience platform. The simple one is you know where your data is connected. So without you setting up a PDM server and SQL server and, and all that kind of stuff, just by having your data on the platform, even inside of SOLIDWORKS here, you can see that I can look at this subassembly and I can just say, oh, here are the relationships between this subassembly and the parent assemblies and drawings. And I can see all the subassemblies and parts that make this thing up. That's just part of the platform. So there's nothing that you need to do except for have your data in a platform to instantly be able to see all this information, which is impossible in a plain old Windows system. You can do things like take two versions of the same drawing, like two revisions, and just see visually what the difference is between the first revision and the second revision. You can visually see that. Very simple, very easy. And finally, SOLIDWORKS Cloud Services, or built-in 3D Experience SOLIDWORKS capabilities, give you a lot of really great tools to communicate. For example, I can take a part, send a link to anybody, and they can view it in a free web-based, as a web page, web browser, that they can mark up, they can add their comments, and they don't have to download a viewer, they don't have to 
pay for anything. It's just, here's a link that's shared with you securely and go make comments. If I wanna work from anywhere, I can save my Sarks data to an online hub, which is completely cat aware, unlike other tools. So it knows it's part assembly and drawing relationships, captures all that, as well as all my custom property information right there. If I'm collaborating with other people using this online hub, I can lock my files really easily. I can see what other things have been locked by other users. I can get feedback from other stakeholders in my company. I'm using just basically web-based tools to do that. And I can actually look at that feedback directly inside of SOLIDWORKS as I make the changes that they may suggest. And if I'm gonna make some new revisions of parts or assemblies, I just say new revision. I don't have to save it as a different file name and worry about links and relationships. And likewise, when I'm done, I can just say, okay, now you're released. I don't have to move those files to another folder on my Windows network somewhere and worry about those links being maintained. And this is really scalable too. So when you're ready, if you want to, you can go into formal release management and issue management as well. And because the platform is cloud-based and it's web-based, unless I'm a SOLIDWORKS user, I need that SOLIDWORKS Windows machine with SOLIDWORKS loaded. But other than that, anything else that we're doing on the platform is available in any web browser on any device.